What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to make the ultimate progression guide video which covers what everyone should be doing to progress from item level 1415 all the way to 1630. I see so many people asking for this so I am here to save the day. Before we begin, we are still steadily on our road to 20%. If my videos at least made some air come out of your nose like a <laughs> or you learned even one thing or you just simply enjoy hearing my beautiful voice, then please subscribe and be a part of the road to 20%. All right, now that you've subscribed, let's start off with the 1415 to 1475 item level range. From here, welcome to Legion Raids. This is the start to your journey of doing some of the best raids that made Lost Ark so popular back in the day. Other than doing Argos and Orejas well hard, starting at 1415, you unlock normal Vaulton. And after successfully defeating Vaulton, you get something called a demon beast bone. You want to use these bones and go to the Legion Commander gear crafting NPC. I know it's a lot, but search that up in the map to upgrade your legendary gear that you're, you have currently equipped to now relic gear. You are now a relic boy or girl or other. You won't be able to get every single gear with Vulton's materials though. That's where Vicus comes in. As you hone to 1430 on that relic gear you purchased, you will soon be able to unlock Vicus Normal at 1430. Vicus drops covetous wings that you can buy the rest of the relic gears with. Make sure to buy the correct set for your specific class, if it's Nightmare or Entropy or whatever. Since I'm not sure if you can cheese buying all the gear with just one material, like all with bones or all with wings, and then doing some converting later on. Someone will have to help me in the comments for that, but that's all I know for now. At 1445, you now unlock Vaulton Hard. So do Vaulton Hard along with the usual normal Vicus that you unlocked at 1430, as well as Argos or Orejas Well Hard. At 1460, you unlock Vicus Hard. So now the three you do is Hard Vaulton, Hard Vicus, and Argos, or Orejas Well Hard. Finally, at 1475, you now unlock Clown. So you can drop kick Argos and do Clown. I do wish you luck on doing this on item level. I would recommend either honing a little bit more or maybe get lucky with a high level player willing to help you out. Regardless, at 1475, this is where Clown begins and it is pretty difficult compared to the first two. Here, you will get something uh, like a horn where you want to go back to the Legion Commander Gear Crafting NPC and upgrade your relic gear to level two. It should be level 1, now you get to level 2 gear set from Clown. Alright, now the range from item level 1490 all the way to 1560. At 1490, here is where the tricky stuff starts. So, pardon me for all the words, but I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. At 1490, you now unlock normal Brelshaza gate 1 and 2. You do not have access to gate 3 yet. But hold on, hold on. What a lot of people do is get the two gates done first. Use the Brelshaza materials that you get, which are called Phantom Intentions, to upgrade to the next gear, which is Ancient Gear. So remember, you went from Legendary all the way to Relic, and now with Brelshaza, you get Ancient Gear. This is another soft reset. Uh, where you can do more honing for cheaper. So now, you can hone your ancient gear to push to 1500 as much as possible. So that once you get to 1500, 
you will be able to do the full Relshaza normal gates 1 to 3. As you get all 6 ancient gears and hone, you will be able to reach 1520, where you unlock the last gate, normal gate 4 for Brelshaza. During this entire time, you should continue doing your clowns and your hard vicuses. Alright, now we get to 1540. At 1540, you finally unlock Kayangel Normal, which is an abyssal dungeon similar to Oreha's Well, but obviously much harder. Kayangel gives you something called Empyrean of Contemplation that you can use to upgrade your ancient gear to level 3. Do this if you haven't upgraded your relic gear using the clown horn material to level 2. You can actually skip level 2 and go straight to level 3. Now, would I recommend you to completely give up on level 2 and go straight to level 3? It depends. If you're able to clear Kyangale and get into Kyangale groups without having level 2 set, then be my guest. But most likely, you probably need the level 2. Alright, anyway, continuing on. So at this point, you should be doing Brelshaza Gates 1 and 2 hard, since you unlock that now at 1540, uh, and Normal Gates 3 to 4. So yes, you can do hard and then normal. What you can't do is do normal and then hard. So you can't do normal Brel 1, 2 and then do hard gate 3. You have to do hard first and then switch back to normal. But yes, you can change difficulties uh, between gates. So you would do Brel hard gates 1 to 2, normal gates 3 to 4, and then Kyangel normal and clown. At this point, now nerfed gold honing is gone. And you will also need to use gold to hone. So keep this in mind. Honing to 1550 now unlocks gate 3 for Brelshaza hard. So now you can do Brelshaza hard gates 1 to 3 and normal gate 4. Along with Kyangel normal and clown. At 1560, you unlock Brelshaza Hard Gate 4. So now, at 1560, you can move on from Brelshaza Normal entirely and do Brelshaza Hard Gates 1 to 4, Iangale Normal, and Clown. Okay, I do need to mention though that yes, while you are able to unlock these raids at a certain item level that I mentioned, you may not get into a lobby as expected because a lot of people like to take people who have slightly higher item level for an easier clear i just want to make sure you guys know that so if you are unable to do for example hard brelshaza gate 4 at 1560 it's okay to do normal brelshaza gate 4 it is completely fine that was a lot so we take this brief intermission for a subscriber plug hello my fellow viewers who are still watching at this point you guys are awesome if you haven't already and you learned something so far make sure to click on the subscribe button because this did take a bit of time to create and record so thanks i hope you do subscribe okay now on to the 1580 to 1610 range so at 1580, you will now unlock normal Akon, and you will use the Akon materials, the eyeballs, to upgrade your gear once more from the Legion Commander Gear Crafting NPC. This is another soft reset, so hooray! In addition, do Kyangel hard, since that was now unlocked as well at 1580, and continue doing Brelshaza hard. 1 to 4. You should be able to do gate 4 hard at 1580 more often than at 1560. At 1600, you will now say a goodbye to Brelshaza. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. 
since you will really begin your journey with unnerfed gold. At least for now at the time of this recording. You have now unlocked Ivory Tower Normal from Boldus, where you can get elixirs, which are a big, big power boost once you get the 40 set. We have recent news that epic elixirs are no more. So if you're wondering, if you're a new player and you're wondering, what the heck is epic elixirs? Don't worry about it. Only legendary elixirs will be available. So make sure you push for 40 set and at a minimum get 35 set. But I would highly recommend getting 40 set. You've also unlocked a con hard. So try that out if you dare. If you have 40 set, you most likely will get accepted to 1600 a con hard lobbies. If not, like I mentioned before, just do the normal mode. It's okay. All right. Now, 1610 is they mine normal. So at 1610, they my normal drops dark fire materials, which you will use to craft transcendence gear. Now the key here is to prioritize getting your chest piece and pants to level seven first for that juicy, juicy boost. And you're probably wondering, well, isn't it only level three? Used to be. Now with the changes, at least as of today, or actually this Wednesday, you will be able to upgrade your alt characters to level 7. So make sure you do that. Try to get as much as possible, but prioritize the chest piece and the pants first. Aim to get at least level 3 on all your other pieces while you continue to work towards level 7 across the board. But fair warning, you're looking at grinding over 100 plus flowers to fully max out everything. So it will take a lot of grueling hours and gold to get there. So I would suggest you take your time. Just get the chest and pants to level 7 first and then slowly do it. I wish you all good luck. I know I'm going to need luck for honing, or not honing, transcending my characters as well. Okay, moving on to 1620 to 1630. At this point, why are you even here? You've unlocked Hard Voldus. By this point, you should know the drill. Do Normal Thamine and Normal Echidna, which you have unlocked as well. Your priority here is still your Transcendence gear and pushing for that 40 set of elixirs if you haven't already. Make sure to continue getting level 7 on all your gear. And finally, at 1630, this is where you finally unlock Hard Thamine and Hard Echidna. Combine these with Hard Voldus as your three raids, 40 set elixirs, and at least 100 dark flowers for full 7 transcendence, because this is mandatory at this item level. If you made it this far, you are officially ready for tier 4! Woohoo! And if you're 1631 and above, Wow, congratulations to you. Keep up the great work, but go away. And there you have it. The ultimate progression guide from 1415 all the way to 1630. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you made it to this part of the video and still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit that subscribe button. And of course, for my fellow pineapple gang. Today's word is sweet because you are all so sweet. Pineapples are sweet too, but they do disintegrate my mouth. Anyways, that's besides the point. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.